Good morning everyone. Today we will be starting a new chapter Transportation of Food and Minerals in Plants from Standard 8 Bio Book. System analysis has completed. Starting with the introduction part. First, green plants prepare their own food through the process of photosynthesis. As we all know that plants are autotrophic in nature means what they can prepare their own food by the process of photosynthesis and for preparing food they need water and some essential minerals that they absorb from soil so there are some specific tissues present in the plants that helps in the transportation of food and minerals uh, about these tissues you have already studied in standard 7 so let us uh, know about these tissues the conducting tissues complex conducting tissues that is xylem and phloem why are these tissues known as complex conducting tissues first complex because they comprises of more than one cell xylem tissue is also made up of more than one type of cell phloem tissue is also made up of more than one type of cell that is why they are named as complex tissues then why they are known as conducting tissues they are known as conducting tissues because xylem and phloem helps in the conduction of water and minerals and food from one part of our from one part of the plant to another coming to the first conducting tissue that is xylem xylem conducts water and mineral from roots to all the other parts of the plant xylem are the conducting tissues that conduct water and minerals which is absorbed by the roots to different parts of the plant so as i said you that xylem is made up of more than one type of cells so there are various types of cell present and which helps in the conduction of this water and mineral one is vessel another one is trachids now vessel and trachids let me show you one diagram if you can see the diagram here the xylem tissue diagram of a xylem tissue the middle one is the vessel through which the water the absorbed water and mineral moves from the roots to the other parts of the plant and then comes trachets which are present along with these vessels so these trachets and xylems together forms the xylem tissues then come then comes the next conducting tissue that is phloem now what are these phloems phloems helps in the conduction of food from leaves to other parts of the plant and the components which are present the cells which are present uh, to carry these food from the leaves to other parts of the plant are sieve tube and companion cells let me show you the if you can see over here there are this this full thing is known as phloem that consists of a sieve tube why is it, it is known as sieve tube because if you can see there is a sieve like formation at the center this is the sieve like formation present sieve plate we can call it as there are sieve plates along this tubes that that is why this tube is known as sieve tube and the companion cells are present along with these sieve tubes so together they forms phloem tissue now now we got the idea that which all components which all tissues help in the conduction of water and minerals and food from one part to another xylem and 
phloem and their components you came to know now in the next slide we'll come to know about the absorption of water now we studied which all system helps in the conduction of essential uh, things inside the plant now we will study about the method how the absorption of water takes place by the root so as you all know root system in the plants helps in the absorption of water from the soil root system helps in the absorption of water from the soil so in the uh, root hair you can see the cells named as epidermal cells are present which uh, the cell wall or the cell membrane is very thin so that easily water can be absorbed through these epidermal cells so these epidermal cells you can find in the outermost layer of the root or root hair okay the cell membrane present in the cell wall allows the cell allows only water molecules to pass through it cell membrane is selectively permeable selectively permeable means what it allows only certain particles to pass through it it do not allow all the particles to pass through it so cell membrane which is present in the cell allows only water molecules to pass through it and this process uh, is known as osmosis which helps in the movement of water across the cell membrane now osmosis this term is quite new to you so now i will explain you what does this osmosis mean now coming to this slide osmosis means what water molecule moves from higher concentrated area to lower concentrated area through semi permeable membrane always remember wherever things are higher highly concentrated the things moves from that highly concentrated area to low concentrated area and the, when those two things are separated by semi permeable membrane semi permeable membrane means what allows only certain particles to pass through them okay now if you see the diagram which i have drawn here okay now you can see there are some big circles seen here and some certain small circles okay now those suppose this is a beaker and this beaker is separated by a membrane and this membrane consists of small small gaps if you see clearly you the gaps will be visible to you okay these small small gaps okay now what is happening these small molecules are moving from high concentrated area to the low concentrated area through this semi permeable membrane so you can see this big uh, particles cannot move through this semi permeable membrane only the small particles can move through this semi permeable membrane so it is moving from this part to this part so here this process is known as osmosis osmosis is a movement of water molecules from higher concentrated area to lower concentrated area through semi permeable membrane so here we have completed the first process okay so this is the process osmosis is the process by which plant absorbs water water can easily enter inside the cells present in the roots by the process of osmosis through this semi permeable membrane suppose this is the cell membrane present here of the cell now this is outside the plant and this is inside the plant suppose this is the cell present okay and this is the outside area Uh, uh, outside environment of the root okay 
now here you can see there are larger particles also smaller particles also so now what these smaller particles will do they will cross this cell membrane and will enter inside the cell through this semi permeable membrane okay so this is the process how the water molecules moves inside the cell okay so remember the process osmosis